Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new here. Today we're doing a Starship build using only Nova Galactic parts. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel. We have hit our first goal of 1000 subs. I'm truly honored and humbled by this. If you are not subscribed, that's okay. But if you feel I have earned your subscription, click the button down below. It helps out the channel and helps grow the community. Now let's talk about the ship we're going to do today. As I said, today's build is going to be an all Nova Galactic build. Nova Galactic was the first ship manufacturer in the Starfield universe. It has since gone out of business, but parts remain plentiful. So I took a stab at building a ship from all Nova parts. My only restriction I put on myself is I did not want to use the Cabot Bridge. As I've used this bridge in many builds, namely my Vengeance build, I wanted to try something different. After a bit of tinkering and a couple of different ideas, I landed on this. This is the Celestial Saber. This is a Class C starship that blurs lines between a personal craft and an explorer ship. This is a good ship that will carry you across the stars, and if you run across some ecliptic mercenaries or Crimson Fleet pirates, the ship will hold its own. Since this is a Class C ship, you will need your piloting skill at rank 4, your starship design skill at rank 4, and be at least level 60 to access all the parts. I also recommend increasing your particle beam weapon skill, your shield skill, your cargo skill, and your starship command skill up as high as you can to get the most out of this ship. But before we begin the build, a disclaimer. These builds are designed to serve as general guides for shipbuilding. You can follow these builds exactly or use them as inspiration for your own designs. If there are design elements that you feel could be improved or other parts you prefer to use, feel free to modify the build however you like. Let your creativity run wild. Now let's start the build. Since we're using all Nova parts here, we're going to head over to the new homestead located on Titan in the Soul System. Once on the ground, head over to the ship vendor, and if you do not have a ship to build off of, purchase the least expensive ship that he has. Once you have your ship, select the option to view and modify your ship. Now delete the ship you just purchased, and we're going to buy all our parts we need first. I'm going to put the complete parts list on screen. Pause the video here and let's get shopping. Now that we have all our parts, you can see the layout here. You can pause the video here to double check and make sure you have everything. Now, before we get into the build, putting this ship together will require glitching parts into each other. If you're familiar with this process, then you can skip this section. If you're new to shipbuilding, let's review how to do this. Glitching parts is a process that lets you blend one part into another. This can be used to fit pieces into places that it would not normally fit, or blend two pieces together. In order to do this, you need an open hook point and a piece that's either flippable or has a different variation in the case of habs. In this example, you can see I have a two by one hab with a piece attached to the front and a wing that I want attached to the side. If I try to just place the piece, it will turn in red, indicating that the piece cannot go here. 
Instead, what I'm going to do is select the piece and drag it over to where I want it. Then, while holding my right mouse button, I will click Z to flip the piece once, and then Z again to flip it back. Then I can release my mouse button and select Escape to cancel. This will now attach the piece where I want it, and you can see the pieces are blended together. You can do the same thing on Xbox by clicking Y to flip the piece, and then B to cancel instead of escape. You can do this same process with halves. Instead of clicking Z to flip the piece, you would select the next variant and then select back to the variant you want. Then click escape or cancel. Now that we're familiar with glitching parts, let's get to building our ship. First thing we're gonna do is put together our hab layout. If you prefer different halves or like them arranged in a different order, feel free to change it as you see fit. Start by bringing down our 3x1 engineering hab. Next, we're going to take our computer core and attach that to the end of the engineering hab. Now grab your 2x2 battle station and we're going to attach the right hook point to the end of the computer core. Take your workshop and attach that to the left side of the 2x2 hab. Next, take the armory and attach that to the rear center hook point of our hab structure. Now, we're going to take a porthole top and use that to stop a ladder from generating where we don't want it. For some reason, when we attach the top habs, the system likes to put the ladder in the workshop. I want it on the battle station. Take the porthole and attach it to the rear top hook point of the workshop. Next, take the all-in-one hab and attach the front bottom hook point to the top left hook point of the 2x2 hab. Next, take the control station and attach that next to the all-in-one we just placed. Now we're going to take our captain's quarters and place that next to the control station. We will need to glitch this into place to make it fit, due to the porthole blocking the ladder access. And now this completes our hab layout. Take your top docker and place that above the armory at the back of the ship. Take your cockpit and place that at the center hook point of the top hab structure. Next, we're going to place our drive and engine sections. This requires pieces to be attached in a particular order, so bear with me. Start with your fuel tank. This is going to go behind the 2x2 hab under the all-in-one. Next, we're going to take our reactor and place that in the same spot on the other side of the ship. Next, we're going to add a couple of our engines. We need to do this now to create some hook points for us later. Well, let's move these cargo containers out of the way to give us some room. Take one of the engines and we're going to attach that on the same side as our fuel tank. The top hook point of the engine needs to attach to the fuel tank. Now, in order to attach the other engine, we're going to need to create another hook point, as our reactor doesn't have any hook points at the end of it. How we're going to do that is we're going to use a Nova radiator to attach one engine to the other. So let's bring over one of the radiators. Attach that to the engine that's attached to the ship. It should go under the back of the armory hab. Now that we have a hook point to attach our other engine to, let's attach that now. And finally, we can attach our grav drive. This is going to go under the fuel tank and will attach to the lower hook point of our engine. And now our drive section is fully attached. 
Let's just finish off the back of the ship. Bring over the remaining radiator pieces. These are going to attach to either side of our docking station above the engines. Now let's build out the side wings of the ship so we can attach our other engines. We're going to start with our cowling 2 LPF and we're going to attach that to the front two hook points of the side of our ship. Next, take a cowling PM piece, flip it so the hook point is facing outwards and attach that to the piece we just placed. Now take another cowling PF piece, change the variant so it's facing backwards and attach that to the piece we just placed. Now we have the basic shape of our wing, but we have this open spot in between the ship and the wing. I really don't care for that, so we're going to fill it in a little bit. We're going to do that by taking another cowling PM piece and glitch it into place with the other PM piece, but we're going to have the hook point facing inwards this time. With that in place, we can see this fills in the wing a little bit better. Now we're going to repeat this process on the other side of the ship. Next, take your remaining two engines and bring those over. Attach your engines to the hook points on our wings. To finish off our engines, bring over four of the cowling TF pieces. Now take one and attach that to the top hook point of our engine. Take another one, flip it so it's upside down, and place that below the piece we just placed. Now do the same on the other engine. Well, let's build up the front of our ship next. Bring over four of the one space cowling pieces. These are going to attach to the open hook points on the side of our front structure, starting at the back. We should have one open hook point in the front when we're done. Do the same on the other side with the other four cowling pieces. Now we're going to further build out those sides. Take three of the cowling PM pieces and bring them over. We're going to have to glitch these into place. Take one and attach that to the open front hook point of the side of the ship. The piece will turn red, so flip it to glitch it into place. Do the same for the other two pieces. Now take a cowling PF piece and attach that to the end of the last piece. Again, you will need to glitch this into place to make it fit. Now you're probably wondering why we did all that, just to have those first pieces completely hidden. It's because if we just placed the outer pieces, we would have these gaping holes in the structure where you see the darker sections. With the other pieces in place, it covers those open areas, giving it a more solid look. There's still some open spots, but that's because of the shape of the halves. Nova halves tend to have more rounded of corners, so they tend to show more space when you put them together. If I was doing a mixed manufacturer build, I would probably use Deimos or Tayo, which have a more boxier look to them. Now let's repeat that process on the other side of the ship.
take the remaining two cowling TF pieces and put them on either side of the cockpit. Next, take the shield generator and place it on the top rear hook point in the center. Take the two Nova radiator top pieces and place them on either side of the shield generator. Now take the top portholes and place them on the open hook points in front of the radiators we just placed. Take the remaining portholes and place them on the open hook points on the sides of the tabs. These are optional, but I just felt like having more windows with this build. Now we need to work on the bottom of our ship. We're gonna start with the landing bay. The rear hook point of the landing bay should go on the front bottom hook point of the computer core hab. Next, take your cargo holds and connect them all in a line. These are going to go just behind the landing bay we just placed. Now we need to place our landing gears. We're going to place two on each side, connecting to the open hook points on either side of the cargo holds. Now the last thing that's left is our weapons. I'm using my standard weapons array for this build. We have six Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projectors, four PBO-175 Helion Beam Cannons, and four PBO-300 Auto Alpha Turrets. You can place these wherever you like on the ship, but if you want to follow along, here's where I place them. We're going to start with the Auto Turrets. These are going to go on the wing sections, two on each side, one facing forward and one facing backwards. Next, we are placing the PBO 175s. These are going to be attached to the outside engine sections, one on top and one on bottom of each engine section. Lastly is our obliterators. These are going to go on the front of our ship. I put them under the hole as I think they look better here. And now that the ship is assembled, we just need to assign our weapons. I'm going to assign my auto cannons to the W2 slot, and the others can be assigned wherever you want.
Now let's rename our ship. And let's change out that factory color for something a little bit more interesting. I'm going with kind of a white and gold motif here, but you can make it any color you want. Now that our ship is assembled, you can see the stats before crew and skill bonuses apply. And here's our stats after the skill and crew bonuses apply. So let's take a tour of our new ship. You can see the ship has a rather distinct profile while on the ground. It's got this long look to it. We enter into the ship into the computer core. Through this door is the engineering bay. Through the other door is our battle station. To the right is our workshop. Straight ahead is our armory. With our ship docker at the back. On the other side of our battle station is our ladder up to the next level. This brings you up into the all-in-one hab. Through the doors, our control station. And through this door in the back is our captain's quarters. Back out and through the hatch brings us finally to our bridge. I will say this ship has some potential. I may do an upgraded version of the ship using different halves and some different parts to try to get the shape a little bit more streamlined. So keep on the lookout for a version 2 of this ship. And that is the end of this video. Please hit like and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. I'm Team Scorpio and I'll see you in the next build. Ciao.